Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. That quote is by Albert Einstein. In today's video, I want to talk about compound interest and exactly what you can do to get some. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make better financial decisions and of course, make some money from the internet. And on today's video, I just wanna briefly explain compound interest and the power of compounding. So what you first wanna understand is that compound interest simply means that when you have an amount that is appreciating in value, say 10%, we'll take $100 for an example. If you have $100 that appreciates by 10% in a month, you now have $110. And if you were to compound that same $110 month after month after month, you will slowly get that number more and more and more because 10% of $100 is $10, but 10% of $110 is greater than $10. And that right there ultimately is all compound interest is. And so in today's video, I wanna talk about three specific ways that I can show you how to make more of this compound interest. So the first way that I wanna talk about is through your bank account. Now, a lot of people have probably heard, you will never get rich having money in the bank. And this is absolutely true. But for some people like business owners, they know that at the end of the year, they have a tax bill coming up. Or for some people, they might have an emergency fund currently sitting that they have to sit on because they of course have an emergency fund and they need to have that. Either case, you need to put your money in the best possible scenario and best possible place that you can get it quickly, but you can still earn some interest. And so the first recommendation I have for you today is high interest bank accounts. If you are a person sitting on any cash at all, I don't care if it's 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, or millions. If you are sitting on that money waiting to spend it later, you might as well put it in a high interest bank account. One of the bank accounts that I personally use and personally have made interest with is called Ally Bank. I'm not associated with them in any way. I don't have a sign up link. Just go Google Ally Bank. That is what I use as a high interest bank account. And of course, what you have to understand is bank accounts fluctuate with overall interest rates. While I'm shooting this video early in 2020, we are at the bottom of interest rates. Money is cheap. Borrowing money right now is incredibly lucrative because you can find money for three and a half percent and you can go and do business deals for seven or eight percent and you can make the spread. That's the business itself. But with that said, because the interest rates are so low, bank account rates are going to follow suit. So right now, bank account rates are ranging from one and a half to 2% max. You have to understand that. But if you're gonna be putting your money into any of these accounts, again, what I'd recommend is finding a high interest account because you can pull it out at any point in time. That leads me to number two, which is the stock market or 401ks, IRAs, things we've talked about on this channel. This tends to get you a 10% interest rate per year on average. And so again, if you have money that you're trying to put away, if you have money that you're trying to save, if you have money that you're trying to think about long-term, this may be an example because if you're gaining 10% per year, I've done an example on this before, if you put $5,000 away for 30 years and it's gaining 10% per year compounding, that $5,000 is going to turn into over $87,000. That's what you need to understand first and foremost. Secondly, when you are compounding your money, you are enabling yourself to free up more flows of income. And a lot of people don't think about that because you are gaining money over here, now you can do more with this money over here. Finally, that leads me to point number three. When we are talking about real estate, Real estate is another form of compounding. Think about the prices of real estate. They're the highest they have ever been in some states right now. That is a form of compound interest because you are sitting on an asset that is appreciating. Think about also if you have a rental home, you are gaining money from rentals, you are accruing interest basically from rentals because you're getting this rental income, but also the value of the home is increasing. That increase is helping you to make more money. So all in all, compound interest can be one of the most helpful things in the world, or as I said in the beginning, it can hurt people that are paying it. And paying it means you're compounding your interest on say your credit card bill, or you're compounding interest on a note or a bank note or a loan. And those situations are bad situations to be in. So I hopefully, this video helps you to understand where you should put your money. And if it did, be sure to click that like button 
Click the subscribe button if you want to get alerted for new and upcoming videos. It means a lot to me, and I will see you guys on the next video.